Focus Features invite you to spend a day with Amy Adams, the star of the hit film Enchanted, and Oscar winner Frances McDormand in the sparkling new Cinderella story comedy Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day. It's a story about paying attention to what's important. I don't know what I was thinking, entrusting my children to someone with your, your hair. Miss Pettigrew was a nanny who couldn't keep a job. She found you rather difficult, Miss Pettigrew, and that is a recurring theme. I'm afraid we have nothing suitable for you at the moment. She commits the first crime of her life because she's heard that a woman named Miss Delissy LaFosse needs, she thinks, a governess. She takes that address and leaves and has the courage to knock on the door. I believe you were expecting me. What time is it? Five minutes past ten. In the morning? I believe so. Oh, God! to wake up, darling. I can get your boy up. They just need to know who's in charge. First door at the top of the stairs. Get up. Oh. He's a much bigger boy than I had expected. Oh, you noticed. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Uh. Delicia LaFosse is an aspiring actress. She's got a lot of balls up in the air and it's hard to juggle it all. <gasps> He's here. Who? Nick. Another man. Well, of course another man. <gasps> Miss Pettigrew ends up uh, becoming a social secretary for an American actress in London who's a living a larger-than-life kind of existence. She tries to organize and arrange Delicia's life so there's a better outcome to it. Since when did girls smoke cigars? If I want to smoke cigars, I'll damn draw smoke cigars. But well, they're yours. Get back to you, baby. With Nick, I get this magnificent flat. And with Phil, I get a chance to be a star. Michael wants to marry me. Another man? And with you beside me, I feel... Strong, firm. There is something so sensual about fur next to the skin, don't you think? So it's this trip down the rabbit hole, this kind of crazy journey that this woman goes on for a single day. Miss Pettigrew is my new social secretary. After the lingerie, shall we go shopping? A man in the room. Oh, that's just Joe. He designs underwear. Miss Pettigrew is a woman who has had no life. Now that scarf looks perfect on you. She's suddenly finding life just thrust upon her. You really shouldn't wear those muddy browns, you know. They're not your color. When we meet her in the story, she's a little messy. These clothes appear to be the only ones I possess. You're kidding. So we'll start with her hair, shall we? This is a wig. Frances has got very fine eyebrows, so we thickened those up. See my little fake eyebrows? I, for one, am not running around town with Oliver Twist's mom. Delicia takes Miss Pettigrew for a makeover. Miss Lefort. Oh. Pretty clothes, a new hairdo, get her eyebrows plucked. A little powder. Close your eyes. Okay, open. It was a haircut, a little bit of lipstick, a little bit of mascara, and we of course take the eyebrows off. This is me. As nature intended. It's uh, Phil Goldman. How do you do? Oh, we've met before, actually. You were entirely naked at the time. This is not your average um, British period sitting room comedy. Come back to bed, <laughs> you fool. <laughs> On the surface, it's really funny. There's a lot of slapstick, but underneath it, there's a real kind of pathos. I'm crazy about you. I want you to marry me. The ship sails tomorrow morning. He is impossible. Magnificent. Some music, please. Let's go, Delicia. Suck him in the jaw! What? what? You seem to have made quite an impression on him. Yes, I, I do, don't I? Miss Pettigrew. Miss Pettigrew. Miss Pettigrew. <laughs> It's a really entertaining story. The woman can do anything. It must be extraordinary being you. Miss Pettigrew lives for a day.